up, y'all, up in uh, Yucca Valley today, across the tree area. I got a uh, retaining wall blocks, haven't done in a while. I'll go over a couple things for beginners. Uh, but I'll show you what we're doing here. You want to just keep lining them up? You don't want them double stacked or nothing? Are you carrying them all to the back or? Oh, all right here? Okay. Uh, What's that? Lined up is cool. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. So, first of all, I've got to watch that. Uh, you wanted them left there along the house, so I had to watch that ledge uh, with the cage and the moffin coming in. I didn't really have room to turn to drop them because of that hill on the right. So, it's about the best I could do right there. These are going to be a pretty popular item up here now this time of year because of uh, all the rains we had last year washed away everybody's property, so we're going to try to use all these retaining wall blocks to keep the property uh, from washing away this year and uh, retain what they have left. These pallets, uh, like I said, I, was, I wanted to film this for beginners, basically, because there's nothing special really going on here. Um, these pallets, these big retaining wall blocks are really heavy. So you want to make sure you pick them up with the forks all the way in the pallet. If you pick up these, uh, these pallets and you, you don't have your forks all the way through, or if you're leaving your forks much halfway to three-fourths of the way in, that back side of the pallet can uh, break on you because of the weight of the block, so um, that's my little advice to you guys. Uh, make sure you're uh, picking up the whole pallet when you're uh, handling these so you don't uh, end up with a pallet uh, falling apart on you. About a customer at a delivery a long time ago, and uh, I was trying to get cute with the pallet, get a little farther, a little farther, a little farther to where this guy wanted it. So I kept backing on the pallet, lifting it up, scooting it. Well, it just got to the point where I backed up so far on the pallet when I went to pick the pallet up, it just it just snapped and broke up the back side. Fortunately, in that situation, I was already at the customer's house, so, you know, that wasn't a big deal. But you don't want to grab these off the truck, you know, kind of like this right here. You want to make sure your forks are all the way in. You don't want to just snag part of the pallet. So, if you're going to have a mistake, like I always say, at least get it to where, to where it's going before something falls off or breaks. But this is another good, uh, this is a pretty uh, common item. So it, for new guys, it would be another good item to practice your, your weight with. Uh, for your booming out, for deciding when or when not to use the stabilizers. Uh, these, this is a very good pallet to uh, get practice with. be more concerned with the booming out of them. You're going to have to 
zoom out all the way with these, but normally these are kind of just as I'm dropping them, you can see where the where they're going. This is a pretty standard delivery. You, know, you normally have them spaced out along the side of a hill somewhere or the backyard or wherever. If you can get to the actual location and uh, you know these are pretty much just drop it, no booming really necessary. This is, uh, I think, one of the easier deliveries. Pretty straightforward. You don't have to worry about the plastic coming apart on these things. They're locked in pretty tight on the pallet. They're heavy. Alright man, that's it. I'm gonna come back and grab a photo and that's it. So you notice I uh, I use the dirt to drive on there. You know, we leave tire tracks and it's not a big deal because they walk on. So when I have the option like I did there, I you know, I choose to use the dirt just to keep the driveway cleaner and nicer. So that's it for this one. Retaining wall block. Make sure the big pallet's in it. You are all the way in the pallet before lifting. All right, guys, give me a like or comment. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new. You want to see more content, and I will check you all on the next one.